Hello and welcome to the GCC Innova blog series for new features within Sage 200 2010. So in previous blogs I've covered the general new features within Sage 200 2010 plus also one for the new features within the stock control module. In this particular video we're going to be looking at the new features within the sales order processing module. So I've come over to Sage 200, so I'm within sales order processing here and maintain analysis code. So this is how the analysis codes have changed within the particular SOP module. Now we did the previous blog on how analysis codes work in general so we would have set up the analysis codes within accounting system manager at that particular point and here is where we can choose from those analysis codes in accounting system manager. So I can choose to have account manager and perhaps how did you hear about us so both these items will be collected on the sales order. So once again, as per the prior blog, I can come in and edit how this is going to appear on the sales order. So I can edit how the label is going to look. But also within here, I can edit how these codes are going to work. So I've got account manager highlighted. So what I'm going to do with account manager, I'm not going to allow a user to choose the account manager as they're raising the order. What I'm going to do is get the default value from the customer code. So I'm going to get it from the account manager on the customer. And I'm also going to store it in the stock item history once this sale goes through and the stock items are sold. So I'm going to store it in stock item history against the account manager analysis code within the stock item there. For the how did you hear about us? I'm going to come down to edit that one. Well, clearly I do need to allow people to change that analysis code as they're raising the sales order. But I'm not going to store that particular one in stock item history. I'll just use that one for reporting on my sales order history. So if I click OK there, click Save. So that's my analysis code set up for my sales order processing. I can set up to 20. But if I come through and create a new order here, so I'm just going to choose Abbey Retail out here and on my delivery and invoicing tab I have my analysis codes here. My account manager has come through from the customer record. I can't edit that particular one, but how did you hear about us? Yes, I can come down and edit this particular one. My choices are what I can do here, whether I can put in free text, etc. are controlled via the accounting system manager analysis code setup. So have a look at a prior blog if you're unsure how to do that. So that sets up the analysis codes in here. Whilst I'm on this new order, I'm just going to show you another new feature, which is where we can add an additional charge in on the order, but just the additional charge, i.e. I'm just charging for carriage on this particular one. Prior, Previously, we wouldn't be able to do this, save an order with just an additional item line on, but now I can, so I can come in and click on save and save that order away. The system will immediately recognize that... Uh, no dispatch is actually required for this one, so I can go straight through to print an invoice if I wish to. I'm going to select no in this particular instance. So there I have a sales order for just carriage. Also within here, if I come through to dispatch this particular order here, come through onto dispatch here, I also now have the ability to put in a dispatch date. So this could either be set in the future or the past, but it gives me more control over exactly what data is written into the stock history for these particular items. A very typical example of when this would be required is at a month end, say you've just gone into the new month, it's now the 1st of uh, August, and you actually did dispatch some items on the 31st of July, but forgot to actually do it within the system. Well, even on the 1st of August, you can come back in here, knock that date back to 31st of July, and then process through and it'll go through correctly without upsetting any of your history. The final item to show in sales order processing is with regards to foreign currency. I'm just going to come down to Accounting System Manager here and through into my system settings. And I have two new tick boxes here. The ability to use exchange rates when printing invoices and credits. So previously, if you had a foreign currency sales order it would just take the exchange rate on the invoice as the exchange rate on the order but now it's saying okay if I've got this turned on then go back and look at the accounting system manager for the latest exchange rate and use that rate or alternatively you can just give people the ability to edit the exchange rates right at the point where they're printing the invoices and credit notes so that one can either be on or off I'm going to select on for this particular demonstration 
come back to sales order processing and through into print invoices and click on my display invoices so now you see I've got an additional tab here where I've got my exchange rates here and I can come in and change my particular exchange rates right then and there just before I go through to print these invoices off okay so those are the new features within Sage 200 2010 for the sales order processing module